these kids that are trying to be 19 but are really in their late 20s and early 30s here we go here we go again like how do y'all know how to do this and i hope you're safe this season he clocked that tea real quick hi everybody it's brie and i review movies and tv shows i'm glad to have you here because today we're talking about season four of outer banks part one i'll be going over episodes one through two so grab your tea or your coffee your popcorn grab your snacks and let's get into this they pick up right where we left off for season three and if you haven't watched season three this will be a spoiler so just to, this to let you know okay ward is gone jambi's father is gone hopefully that you have stopped the video if you've not watched season three because that would be awkward oh oh no throughout these episodes one and two it's very fast paced the script is great it's funny it's finally having those elements of season one and season two that we really enjoyed now I'm going to go right into spoilers starting breaking down episode one episode two and then three and four will be later on let's start with episode one the last time we left off they were having this celebration of them finding the gold from El Dorado finally get a flashback of what happened during those 18 months so that we didn't skip anything hope decides to say hey why don't we invest in a business so we can continue making money so they buy the land and they're able to start a surf shop and begin to grow their business they're all working together everything is going smoothly until until JJ he has a good heart he has a good heart but he has a tendency to not think ahead they did save some of the gold behind so they can pay their property tax but JJ wants to see if he can turn all that that backup gold okay to even more he decides to take that money and thinks that if he wins this motocross race that he can it double it because of the bet that he put on winning that he put on himself so but that didn't turn out well did it dj negative one dollar i really need jj just to think about what he does sometimes because oof, decision after decision is being just not thinking at all i'm like jj come on we gotta pull it together we gotta pull it together and then ends up that jj and john b they both lose yeah so we're out of money we're out of the savings we're out of the backup gold that we had and now they're in real trouble because they have the property tax that's due so they're trying to think of ways to come up with this money in a short amount of time gone from riches to rags to reverse adding oh spoiler alert now you just ruined annie now those 18 months have transpired and we're back to where we left off which which was someone that came up and talked about the blackbeard treasure so now with episode two the team is desperate for money the man that was telling them about the treasure invites them over and tells them like this spooky story about how blackbeard's wife's amulet um this necklace elizabeth had this amulet that blackbeard gave her and i believe it wasn't returned to her so now the family throughout the years i think they said like 300 years or so they feel like they've been haunted because this amulet has not been returned but they're going to offer them some money i believe fifty thousand dollars if they find the amulet and they need the money because they need to pay the property tax and to help their business so even though it's like really creepy and spooky um they decide to go for it anyway and they start off on this adventure to find this amulet rafe rafe is back yes rafe is back with his girlfriend she's back i don't know what type of mess and trouble that rafe is going to have this season i have no clue but here we go here we go again gets introduced to this lady and she comes up in very creepy vibes like she speaks like i don't know it's like really cryptic and she's like oh hello and a little bit flirting here and there and i'm like Ooh. and she offers this deal to Rafe talking about there's his property she thinks they can make a lot of money because this land hasn't been developed and Rafe right now his occupation is it being a realtor but he talks with his girlfriend and basically he clocked that tea real quick kind of like this 
a realtor, she's this cougar. I'm thinking that this might be a scam. And I think ever since Ward has been gone, has been great for Rafe. Still remember that Rafe has done horrible things. Oh, Officer Peterkin. Okay, we don't, I don't forget that. Mm-mm, Rafe. You in danger, girl. Rafe's girlfriend. Girl, I hope you, you're, you're okay and I hope you're safe this season because whew, no, we know his history, okay? So be careful, be careful. Yes, that sounds correct. Okay. Meanwhile, the Outer Banks team is trying to find Blackbeard treasure, but in order to do that, they need to know the coordinates of this particular area. And since that is mainly maintained by the Coast Guard, I believe, that they can't get close. So they find someone that does, which is JJ's friend. And he was able to kind of talk him into telling where the coordinates are, loses his bike, but they're like, hey, there's, you know, there's treasure on the line. And it's Kiara and JJ that decide to dive. They, I feel like they have used diving before, but not at this scale. And I'm like, how do y'all know how to do this? This is very hard. I feel like there's no practice. There's just like, let's go do this thing. I was really surprised though that JJ, when Kiara said, oh, I'm, you know, I want to go, that he's like, okay. Understood. There's no hesitation about it. There was no like, oh, I don't want you to go. Cause I, you know, we all get that like, oh, it's too dangerous. And, and usually someone says, no, but you know, I want to go. No, not me. I'm going out there. It's my decision. I want to go with you. But we didn't get any of that. And I was shocked. They get there, we think it's all like great and cool. We're trying to find the treasure. Lo and behold, someone is already down there looking for the treasure as well. Just staying positive, but uh, I'm pretty sure this is where we die. Which they sh should have thought about that. It's like the El Dorado treasure. People are looking for this constantly. People want to make that money, the treasure. But um, I don't think they thought about that, which is, these, these kids, these kids, these kids that are trying to be 19, but are really in their late 20s and early 30s. They're, they face off with this mystery man that is also looking for the treasure as well. So Kiara and JJ make a miraculous escape, but they went up too quickly and they did not uh, stay, I believe, at 15 feet for three minutes. Ooh. Oh. Hello, emergency? This is an emergency. <laughs> End up getting the bins. They are able to get to the hospital and then we go over to the Jinrets and we see that the oldest Jinret is writing this letter. And we're like, hmm. And he's looking also at a picture of JJ. Okay, it's JJ and Kiara, but he's like zooming in, zooming in real quick on JJ. And I'm like, hmm. Ah, yes, of course, of course. Yes. Are they looking into, and they're possibly having a development of the story of JJ's past. And finally unpacking more about these characters. So I was like, this is about to be a really good season because I really enjoyed season two and unpacking Pope's story. Also, I believe in this episode that JJ and Kiara get together in the deep compression chamber. I beg your pardon? Y'all not in the decompression chamber. Other people gotta use that. I can't, I can't with these two. I, I love Kiara and JJ. I do, I have love for them. But this couple, this couple right here makes the worst decisions. They don't think anything ahead, okay? They just act on instinct, which is sometimes good, but not in every situation. And then when asked about it, that Sarah says to Kiara, like, does your boyfriend like always act and not think? And she's like, yeah, yeah, he does. Now Kiara, girl, I would have to sit down and talk to JJ and be like, okay, you, I know that we can't change overnight, okay? But you're gonna have to start, just, just take five seconds, breathe and think, okay? <sighs> breathe and think, it's oxygen to the brain. Let's think about it before we act because they just, they're getting on my nerves with this, they're getting on my nerves with this. We're going to be better. Episodes one and two were a great way to start off season four. It was exciting, well paced. I'm very excited to talk about the rest of the season with you. Um, in the next video, I'm doing episodes three through five and I will see you in the next video. Bye.